Assalamu alaikum. My name is Omar Simon, and I'm in my favorite restaurant, Chicken Licken. And uh, I've just uh, released a single after long called Long Time Coming. It's a collaboration with a great rapper called Abraham Sincere. So I hope you go on to a, a new record and check it out, and also on our Instagram page, inshallah. And please subscribe. Look, Hadi, who's there? It's Omar Simon. Alhamdulillah. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Very good. It's good to see you here. Good to see you, brother. Thanks. So you had dinner here? Yes, I just had a small thing. Not too much. I, I... <laughs> Would you like to? Uh, if you are okay, can I, can we ask you questions? Sure. No problem. Great. So can you just show us something about something about Dublin and um, answer a few well, questions? Oh, um, all I know is this is around Temple, but I don't really know Dublin too well because I, I don't normally come into the city too often. But, you know, all I know is, um, you know, I just came here to meet a few friends, have something to eat. Okay, so come on, walk and talk. So, Omar, um, how, was the, how was the experience of first song from Dublin about Islam? And what was the reaction? Um, what was that all about in one line? <laughs> well, um, well, I had a, a song just came out. It's called "Long Time Coming." Right. Uh, I'm always producing, uh, always producing material. Um, for the for the last like um, two years, I've been trying to do more like Islamic songs, but I've been around a long time in the music industry. Right. You know, but as I said, the last two years I've been doing mostly like uh, trying to do more Islamic songs. Omar, are you converted Muslim or are you by born Muslim? I converted to Islam, alhamdulillah, about 24 years ago. Mashallah. Um, how do you feel being a Muslim? <laughs> the best thing in the world ever, you know, being a Muslim. Um, and I met a brother uh, 24 years ago from Pakistan, actually, and he was talking to me about Islam, and I just found so much similarity between what I already believed before as being a Christian. And then, um, you know, so... I love Islam. Beautiful. Best religion in the world. So, Omar, uh, as you said, you converted to Islam. Uh, did you marry a Muslim woman? Um, well, my wife, she's, she's, um, she, she's, she's from Ireland, from Northern Ireland. And um, when we met, uh, neither of us were Muslim. But alhamdulillah, she also, well, I converted first. And about five, six months later, she converted as well. So alhamdulillah, we are both Muslims. All right, that's good. <laughs> Do you describe yourself as a religious person? Um, I'd say so, you know, uh, I'd, 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 I'd say so because, um, you know, as I said, Islam is a way of life, basically. Right. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the way you, the way you deal with people, the way you, the way you talk to people and so forth. So, I mean, like, um, there's not, there's, there's nothing complicated about Islam, basically. All right. So, so how did you develop this interest in uh, music? Well, I've always been involved in music over the last like um, 20, 20, 25, 25 years. I've always been doing music. Um, so even before being a Muslim, uh, I used to record a lot um, and sing a lot. I had a lot of, I had a few songs out in the UK and so forth. So it's only the last two years really that I've been um, trying to do more Islamic songs, more, you know, um, appealing more to, to to, to the Muslims, if you like. And, and also, I mean, like, if, if non-Muslims want to listen to my song, there's nothing bad about it as well. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a it's general. All right, that's good. Uh, can you shed some more light on your music works? On my music? Uh, on your music, like, can you tell us a bit more about your music? Yeah, I'd say like, um, well, I brought out a single, my first Islamic single was called One God. That was about um, two years ago. And that we had a very good um, reception for that. I'm singing in English and I'm also singing in Arabic when I did that. Um, since then, a um, little bit of a low profile. We had the Corona, um, you know, the COVID-19. So just now we're coming back again um, with a new single I've just done called Long, Long Time Coming. And when is that coming out? Um, that's already out actually, so we're promoting it at the moment. Um, so, you know, 
uh, we've had a great reception from it, especially from a young, the young generation as well. Even my own daughter, she's like uh, 17 years of age, and she's, you know, she says, "Daddy, whoa, this is brilliant! You know, I love this." That's very <laughs> That's good. To hear. That's good. That's good. So, uh, can you tell me when uh, you'll be performing live in front of the audiences in Ireland? But this is this is uh, the problem we're facing at the moment because of the COVID-19 and everything else. So. Um, I think we all have to sit tight and wait uh, to see when, when you know, the venues will open up again. And then, you know, hopefully, like, I come to you guys and do a few performances. But for the moment, you know, um, if you, if you want to check out um, Noon Records, uh, you know, and uh, subscribe or whatever to that, you can see that we have a lot of things happening there, you know? All right. Uh, and... Uh... Are your songs? Do, you, do, they, do they come with uh, videos as well? Yeah, some of the songs. So some some of the songs that um, the, yeah the, we we have videos. The latest the latest one we done, which is um, you know, a long time coming. That that that's a lyrical video, you know. So um, but I mean we plan again, you know, when things open up a little bit more, that you know, plan to involve a lot more people and and get a full big production hopefully might have you guys in it as well <laughs> okay so that's uh, that's a lot of talk we'll, we'll just switch to some different uh, sort of questions what's your favorite restaurant in ireland my favorite restaurant well oh, um i love kebab <laughs> you know what i mean i love kebab food um, i'm not i'm not i'm, I'm not too uh I wanted there's one in in in, in Bowesbridge, which i don't know if you, any of you guys know that one but I mean, like, I mean, in UK, I think Ireland is catching on a little bit more. But in UK, you know, there's so many different restaurants in UK. That's why I love going over to, to UK for the food over there, you know, because you've got so much to choose from. I love Chinese as well. But unfortunately, you don't get many halal Chinese in Ireland. So, but that's changing, hopefully, as well. So, uh, what do you do in your free time? How do you spend your free time? writing songs <laughs> yeah because um you know i mean like that that's 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 something that i enjoy so much so and you said you were born in london yeah uh, so do you prefer london or do you prefer london that's a good question that's a, that's a, that's a very good question i better be careful uh especially my wife listening to this as well no i mean listen um i love uh, london because i grew up there but uh to be honest with you uh i much prefer coming back home coming back and I call home Ireland. Right. Have you ever been to Pakistan? No, that's one place I'd love to go. I've never been. Right. I've never been, but I'd love to go there. And uh, since a lot of our viewers are, are Pakistani, what, what, what message would you like to give to them? Take me to Pakistan. Thank you so much for your uh, second short interview <laughs> and chit chat with us. And uh, we wish you best of luck. Thank you very much. Nice Thank talking so much to you, brothers. For, uh, for us and for the multicultural uh, like this. Thank, Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, brothers. Nice Thank, you. Brother. Thank, Thank you. Take care. Salam. Wa alaikum as salam.